I'm M. Miner, and I'm here at the Deep River Town Hall to get a sneak peek at the new theater company that's right upstairs in the auditorium. Let's go check it out. Joyce Bove is one of the founders and artistic directors of a brand new theater company starting in the small town at Deep River. Their current production is Don't Dress for Dinner. It is not her first rodeo, as she has directed many productions over the years. She has done shows all over the state, including locations like the Iverton Playhouse and McCook Point Under the Shell in East Lyme. My career here in Connecticut kind of morphed from starting out with estuary players in Old Saybrook and the Iverton players for many years in Iverton. I was a New York City actor, producer, and restaurant owner, and, um, but always in the theater. Most of her cast and crew have worked on previous plays she has directed and followed her to her new creation and journey. I sat down and talked with some cast members about how they started here at the new company, including Susan and Don, who were in a previous production called Rumors at Under the Shell. What's that? My name is Susan Walsh, and I play Suzanne. Oh, yes, I'm She really wanted me to do it. I'm a school teacher by, the, by day, so I'm very tired and I from not just a day's work, but also high school production and rehearsal. And then I come here, so I have no time. And I didn't want to do it, but it's a beautiful theater. And I, I looked at it and I went, I gotta work here. And I love the script and I love Joyce. So I said, yeah. Hi, I'm Don McGregor. I am playing Roberts, who's the kind of a cad. Jack wants, Jack wants lunatic. People don't know. Jack wants to know. Jack wants mothers to know. I won't do it. My wife and I are ushers at uh, the Ivoryton, and Joyce was there coming up support for uh, the uh, community theater that she was running. Uh, and and uh, that was in February. And then in August, I actually got a phone call from her saying, hey, are you going to come in and uh, audition for uh, a part in the show. Joyce is not only a director, but she is also part of the Shoreline Drama Club, such as the one at Shoreline Seniors in Old Saybrook. She even plays Mrs. Claus on the Essex steam train during Christmas time. I mostly play her on the Lady Catherine cruise. That's that's my gig. Not many people get to be right next to Santa, so I bake him a lot of cookies and we have a lot of fun. The cast and crew are a friendly group of people. They have enthusiastic energy and crack smiles all through rehearsal. Watching them, you can really tell the production is so much fun. So I pull my actors from all my different groups as well as hold auditions and we're so thrilled that one of our principal actors who is hilarious, brilliantly talented, is from Deep River. And we're looking forward to more and more people in Deep River getting involved. And when I finally get to have those four hour, three or four hours of just rehearsing with my actors, that is joy. But I've worked with everyone on the cast and crew, with the exception of two new actors, Hilary Weisberg and Josh Donahue, here from Deep River, who is probably one of the funniest people I've ever seen on stage in my life. Uh, my name is Josh Donahue. I am playing Bernard in Don't Dress for Dinner. A friend of mine, um, who is the father of one of my daughter's friends, had met Joyce at the uh, farmer's market, and she wanted him to play a part in this play, which he didn't do, but yet convinced me to come and audition. And I got a part, and he bailed out. My name is Hilary Weisberg, and I play Jacqueline. I work as a speech therapist by day. I was in an assisted living facility and Joyce was there visiting somebody and she was talking about theater and I kind of <laughs> slipped her my business card. She kept it all this time and I just got a phone call and said I, I'm doing this play and I still have your card. It's been sitting on my desk all this time. Uh, I'm Michael the Chance and um I played George in the Don't Dress for Dinner here, very exciting. So I was doing a play uh, called The Guys. Hillary, who uh, plays Jacqueline, very talented, 
Um, <clears throat> she saw me, and the next thing I know, Joyce called Ed, and they told me to come down, and that's how I met everybody. I would also like to mention Deborah Mont, also known as Suzette, who I did not get to interview because she fell sick that day. No, She has been part of the productions at Theater Under the Shell, Rocky Hill Theater, and the Iverton Players. I love to have the audience just come in and whatever's going on in their world, come into the magic of theater and laugh. And laugh and laugh and laugh. And that's why we are rehearsing so hard, to make sure that that is the end result. When my actors can make me laugh, I am a happy camper. And we're asking the community to help and sponsor us and, and donate because we're doing this truly on a wing and a prayer and a little bit of crazy glue. The Deep River Theatre Company has many future productions ahead, and here's some advice from the cast on joining. You know, follow your dreams. Like, you know, if it's something that you feel you want to do and like doing, uh, find a way to do it. You know, I mean, this is a, I live here in Deep River, and I haven't acted in 25 years, and... It just kind of came together in a, a circumstance, and it's been fantastic. Just stick with it. Apparently, there's like a, some, something on the internet that talks about auditions in the area. Contact Joyce Bouvet because she's always doing something. Uh, from there, you meet other people, and and it, it's a whole um, it's a whole network around southeastern Connecticut. Really remarkable. So many talented people. You know, it's uh, it's actually easier for guys to uh, get nice roles because there aren't a lot of guys that uh, seem to be willing to do community theater. If you're a female, even at the community theater level, we have so, so many talented women that want to be involved. Come and audition them Come. to uh, meet Joyce. And I mean, it's a very welcoming, it feels very like a welcoming community. I've really enjoyed all of the the people, the the crew, the stage managers, and um, and everyone who's come to help. They're everyone's very warm, and kind of I've I haven't had that experience with every production I've been on. I would say, don't wait as long as I did. Come and have a blast, you know. And uh, and, and for me, I, I I used to teach baseball, and I would teach my kids to swing, and some of them would swing. You know, and if you're gonna swing and miss, you might as well swing as hard as you can. So when I'm out there. I just try to do the, you know, the craziest, best thing I can do, and if it's bad, I'll let you know. Just do it, really. Um, my advice for young people getting into theater, don't unless you have to. If it is in your blood, in your bones, in your soul, and you will do just about anything to be in it, no matter the sacrifice, then the next bit of advice I would give you is to work at it constantly. Do anything you can to work. But study, work, take any opportunity, do a scene class, get into a community theater, learn the ropes, and also learn everything you can about backstage. You cannot be, a, one cannot be a good actor in theater or in film if you don't know the workings of how it's all put together. So you've got to take your apprentice time, your time to really learn every aspects of the theater. That would be my advice.